Hello everyone and welcome to this, our first look at prototyping 2D in Unity. My name is Kasanis. There's going to be a few questions, are you back Kasanis? And yes I am. I am back for a very particular reason. I'm probably not going to be playing a lot of games in here and maybe I'll do it every once in a while. But what we're going to be doing in my videos, in my video series from now on, is we're going to be exploring uh, game design. We're going to be exploring game design. I am a professor at George Brown College here in Toronto. I teach in the game design department. And this semester I am actually teaching prototyping 2D. So I thought that I would build for both my students and all of you out there on YouTube, all of my viewers, uh, this game and build the videos associated with, with making this game. And that way my students can go back and use it as a review for the, for the courses I've taught. And you out there, all my faithful viewers, can go through and follow along and build this game. Now, it's not truly a game. It does have a beginning and a middle and an end, meaning you start the game, you can run along and shoot things and jump and run and etc. It's all, all awesome. Uh, there's enemies and there's different things to explore. And you're either going to die uh, or you're going to make it to the end of the level. It is a non-procedurally generated level, meaning that uh, it's already in place. I'm not generating it as we move. Uh, I've already created the level. You can make it to the end of the level and afterwards you're going to win the game. No one's going to want to buy this game afterwards. No one. <laughs> It is really just for demonstration purposes. I am going to teach you the techniques that I use to build this simplistic side-scrolling uh, platformer. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Give you the techniques to be able to build it. And afterwards, you guys can use those same techniques to make complex and interesting games that people are going to be interested in playing. That is my goal for this series. When you're finished, I'm really hoping that you will be able to go through and build yourself a platformer just like this, but make it awesome. Don't make this, make it awesome, all right, guys? Show me what you got afterwards. I really want to see, once this whole series is done, what you guys built. My students are going to show me. My students are going to show me in class what they built. They're going to show all their classmates as well, and I want to see what you guys built too. So, if you're interested in following along, go on to the Unity site, download Unity. That is the engine we're going to be using. It is an awesome free engine. It, it, it does almost anything you want it to do. The free version does almost anything you want it to do. So guys, head over there, download Unity. I am using Unity 5.04 uh, or something like that. I forget exactly what it is. Get the latest version. It's going to be all kind of the same. And we're not doing anything really weird anyway. It's really simple stuff. Get the latest version, download it. I built all the assets in Photoshop. Everything was done in Photoshop, guys. So download the assets, find stuff online, and follow along, all right? I'm really excited to be able to show you how to do this. If you guys are excited that I'm back, if you guys are excited to be able to do this kind of stuff, then let me know with a thumbs up down below. A comment down below is also great. Say hi, say to ask any of your questions, whatever you want to know, and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer them. All right, everybody, have yourselves a wonderful day.